don't shift gear with one hand, kids. Hello! So right now I'm driving home to my parents' house, because, uh, well, I, I simply don't live there anymore, but I have, like, all my stuff there that doesn't fit in the apartment. And one of those things is, uh, well, the my latest build, Miss Jackson, that I am actually today going to send off to her rightful place in Las Vegas, USA. So we're just out buying some brown tape and um, regular a little bit thicker uh, normal tape. But my local paint store didn't have the brown tape, so they just gave me something that they were using. Like half juice or something. Which was very kind. That's a little bit, a little more natural light. So here is the lady herself. What I will be shipping her in is first off a flight case that I ordered from uh, Toman. Pretty decent looking flight case. It's not really a big deal. From what it feels, it feels pretty solid. It's enough to like ship it in. But I don't want to ship it just close the case. That shows off a lot that it is a guitar that can trigger someone to open it. I got the case in this uh, brown paper box and it came with these things in the corner. That is what I'm going to do right now. Pack Miss Jackson up. I decided to get my tripod because well I'm lazy. She fits almost completely perfectly, except for she's a little too long in the body. Or at least the strap button is in the way. Oops. There we go. Now I think I remember I've heard somewhere that you should line up the string tension while you're sending an instrument on a plane. How to ship a guitar by plane. Here's some info. I got her over there, so mm -hmm. should be good. Loosen your strings down all the way to remove the tension from the guitar. Yes, this is what I'm talking about. I'm gonna loosen up the strings to remove the tension. Okay, I think that this is loose enough. What do you think? Figure out, alright, just a personal little note. Cause it's nice! There we go! Can maybe sneak it in a little bit like this? There we go! Vance Jackson, I'll probably never see you again. In real life though. Someone asked me if I felt like it was hard to send away an instrument that I have Built. And I can tell you, for this lady right here, it is not. First off, she is a guitar, and I don't play guitar anymore. I have no interest of picking up an electric guitar and jam out. Also, because, well, she is not mine, the material to build her uh, was already paid before I even started. So material-wise, she was never mine. Sure, I put my blood, sweat and tears into this lady. Because of these things, I really don't find it hard to send her away. Cause would I rather have her hanging here in my parents house where I simply just don't live anymore and not play her just to look at her and feel pride that I have built her or would I send her away to first off the person who owns her cause you can never own a lady and have that person actually play her and find joy in playing her. The choice is quite obvious, at least for me. So I'm just going to pack her up in this cardboard box right here then she's off to Las Vegas. Well, off to the post office then. And then it was this thing of handling the package. 12 kilos is just about enough. Just a little push. <sighs> Let's turn on some rightful music, shall we? Climbing up the back door. Out the back door, goddamn, put on. You ready?
there was at maximum four of the convenience store girls that were helping me send away this package because it's to the USA and it's such a big package. That's not something that is happening in my little town that often. <laughs> So there were a lot of people helping me, but finally she's away and off to Las Vegas feeling quite great about that to the person who are getting it She's on her way. Just thought I'd make a little video about that, and I hope that you other guys enjoyed it I'm Tommy to Sharon, and thanks for watching <laughs>